gotcha here again today with some more super cool fun stuff in the game dauntless thanks so much for coming to hang out today guys i really do appreciate it and as you can see we are looking as majestic as ever in our new nashery gear <laughs> the first episode is past us on to the second and what will the ramsgate hold for us it appears we have quests to do and such so we're going to be heading right into that thanks so much for again hanging out today this is going to be just a series going through my dauntless experience and I'm sure we'll tell off into some specialties of the different weapons and stuff like that. But as of right now, I'm just brands new, man. Brands spanking new. So me and you, we're going in. Wait, me and you. <laughs> we're going in and we're just going to play the game as it's thrown at us and just kind of play through it. So what we just did in the previous video is we killed the Nasher, starting the game off in the tutorial. Then we went and killed the Embermain. And we got some Embermain bits. And then this guy over here, actually not this guy, but the Smithy made us uh, some stuff. And I actually didn't show that on camera, so what I'll show you here is that uh, I made some ember stuff. And so what I made is the blades, and then I also made the sword, which is here. And so as you can see, it's 80 fire or whatever. So we're going to learn about what all that is exactly. But I did do a quick hunt for my first ever uh, with the ember blades, and holy cow, I, they were a lot of fun. And I'll hopefully get to show you that in this episode um, other than that, I still have the Nasher gear, and that's what we're kind of rocking with. So, let's just jump right into it, all right? This guy here, Marcus, wants to talk to us, so let's see what he has to say. The amateur alchemist. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, gather the ingredients. Boson Marcus Bohair needs to complete the latest tonic. So, it says the objective here is to craft two Blitz tonics with the Boson Marcus Bohair. Bohr. I don't know. These names always get me. <laughs> Equip a Blitz tonic in your loadout. Use a Blitz tonic while on a hunt. All right, cool. So 50 rams to bulwark tonics and you get the schematic for the bulwark tonic. No idea what that is, but it says here, so you've heard about my hobby. Yep, alchemy has always been a passion of mine. And if I do say so myself, I've gotten a lot better at it. My latest creation is a little something I call the Blitz Tonic. Do you guys remember Blitzball from Final Fantasy? I don't know why. That's what it makes you think of, though. Anyway, help me gather the ingredients to craft a few of them once we do that. Uh, just equip the Blitz Tonic on your loadout and give one a try in your next hunt. I think you'll be impressed with how many different things alchem alchemical tonics can do for you. I can't even speak today. Oh, consumables. So we're going to learn about tonics, pylons, and more. Using materials you've gathered, the base... We're going to call them Bosun. Can you <laughs> the Bosun can craft tonics and items that grant various benefits in combat. You'll unlock new recipes as you complete quests. So keep an eye on the crafting interface for his latest offerings. Very cool. All right. So we need to craft. And the amateur alchemist is our quest. So we need a dash leaf. Uh, which I already have. And wrath wart. Which I already have. It says here. I have seven and need two. That's the idea there. So it grants between 10 and 30% increased attack speed. Based on health missing. Ooh. For 60 seconds. Interesting. So we shall craft. Oh. You don't have to hold this one. You just click it. I guess. Okay. I mean. Let's just go ahead and make all three. You know. Whatever. We made three. And oh, we have to put it in our loadout. And the loadout, as you may recall, if you go to escape, you can see it, but it's L, right? So L, how do we do that? Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do that. Bam. We did it. Okay. Back. Easy. Peasy, lemon, squeezy. Where to next, Skip? Now then we have to use it on a hunt. Okay. Right on. It confuses me that this that his question mark is like I need to talk to him still, but either way. Many things to trade. So this guy over here had a quest as well. No idea what it is quite yet. Man in the middle. Greetings, Slayer. He talks like a alien dude, right? Meet the middleman and learn how behemoth cells can enhance your gear. Rewards. You get a tough cell, agility cell, blades from cell, aetherborn cell, and rage cell. Let's go. Hello, Slayer. I've been expecting you. Perhaps you were also expecting me. I believe we may be of service, of service to one another. Perhaps today, perhaps tomorrow, but sooner or later, everyone comes to see the middleman. Dude, the middleman is where it's at, okay, in life. Just make sure you become the middleman. That's an important lesson, okay? Become the middleman. Who am I? This is unimportant. It is what I can do for you that matters. I can take any behemoth cells you have gathered and combine them into new and better ones for a price. I also create new cells from the scratch that you may acquire also for a price. Meet the middleman and learn how to behemoth cells. Okay, complete. I did it. Okay, so this is cells. Enhance your options. Cells augment your gear in useful ways. Infuse them into your armor, weapons, and lanterns via loadout screen. Press escape to access the loadout from the main menu. 
Cells typically come from cores, which can be opened at the core breaker around Ramsgate, which we've done in the last video only briefly. You should help me out. So show the middleman that you understand how to infuse the gear with cells. Infuse any cell into one of your crafted gear. I've already done that, actually. So these cells are... Sh Wait. Those cells are surely... What is the phrase? Burning a hole in your pocket. <laughs> That is to be expected both figuratively and literally. Each one, in fact, is crackling with a small, self-sustaining etheric charge. You might wonder how this can be, and you will have to keep wondering. A middleman must have his secrets. But as you, but you can spare your pockets any further harm by infusing those cells into your gear. Open your loadout and select a piece of armor, a weapon, or even a lantern. And garden variety, or excuse me, garden variety gear will not do. Only something forged with the power of a behemoth can accept cells. The ability available cell. The available cell slots, gosh, why is that so hard to say? For the pieces of gear should be easy to find. Choose one of the cells I've given you and infuse it. Simple as that. Go on. Give it a try. All right. Good fortune. All right. Let's go back to L here. Let's pick our, I mean, does it matter? I already, already did that. Let's do the cap. No defensive cell equipped. Got it. So we can do sturdy. Being staggered, uh, prevents being staggered, increase max health. Let's do the sturdy. Did we do it? Freaking did it. Do we have another one? No defense cell. Tough. <laughs> tough. Feels tough, bro. Increases stagger damage against enraged behemoths. Oh, wait. I can put these in all of them? Okay. That was a rage. Whatever. Increases stagger damage against enraged behemoths. Same thing. So these are all... See the little green mark? I'm, I'm pointing to my screen like you can see it. But the little green mark on the right there, that shows you that it has been it has been infused. These are the perk summaries over here is what we're seeing. So interesting. How do I get evasive? Is that a thing? Is that up here maybe? Predator conditioning? I just kind of threw stuff in there. I'm not entirely sure. Perk summaries. And I have all of these in here. Oh, so this is Evasive Fury right here. I already have it in there. Right? Oh my gosh. What did I just do? It says Reaper's Dance. No mod. Predator. Conditioning. So, adds a flat amount of wound damage on hit. Adds a flat amount of, par of part damage on hit. Okay. Well, the icon doesn't seem to line up. Oh, they're different. Okay, so this is a face of furious, same icon as Predator. That's why. Okay. Fantastic. We did it. Let's talk to the middleman once more. Buy sales with platinum uh, or aether dust. Okay. Platinum is the currency which you can purchase, I'm pretty sure. And then the aether dust, I believe you get from like hunts and such. Nine live cell grants a chance to have damage and at a later ranks, the ability to cheat death. Vampiric Cell restores some health whenever a behemoth part is wounded. And Savagery Cell increases damage against wounded parts. Okay. Uh, you currently don't have enough Platinum. Open the store to purchase, but I do here. Okay, so we have Defense, Power, Mobility, Technique, and Utility. So if we're looking at um, Mobility, reduces the stamina cost of dodging. Technique would be Barb Cell. Adds a flat amount of wound damage on hit, which we already have those. Um, increase the benefit of using Aether Vents. Yeah, I saw the the vents in the in the battlefield. I'm not entirely sure what that is. Uh, let me know in the comment section below if you know, because uh, that saved me a little bit of time to figure it out. <laughs> lantern hold ability grant. Lantern hold ability grants all slayers attack speed temporarily. I don't even know what that means either. <laughs> Jeez, so much stuff. So can I? There's nothing there. I can't click it. No. Okay. Defense, power, mobility. Okay. So I don't know. Let's just do. Um, I don't know. Let's do this one. Heck yeah. Wait. Did I drag it? Oh, wait. Okay. 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 So, slot. I clicked it and it went into that slot. Clicked it and that went into that slot. Let's see what happens. I fused it. Okay. It's going to take 22 hours. <laughs> Buy ace chips. Complete the sale now. You currently don't have any ace chips. You can buy ace chips here for a million dollars or something like that. All right, cool. So we got that going. I don't know exactly what that's going to do. We'll just have to figure it out. Yeah, you know what I mean? We'll just have to figure it out. So 
Her question mark is grayed out. Let's get slaying. So I've already completed the Slayer level three, Hunt the Lesser Drasks, and the Boris, which I didn't do on video, but just know that it went very easily. I was trying to get this, uh, the the uh, feel of it so I could uh, jump back in and know what's up the next time. So I complete the Middleman's quest, I already did, and that one as well. And now I need to complete the Amateur Alchemist, which means we need to go on a hunt. Now to go on a hunt, we just do M, Pursuit, now then, which one do we want to do? We need to do Shock Behemoth. We haven't done that one. Oh, I didn't do the dress. That's right. So let's start that, dude. Heck yeah. So I assume after we kill this guy, we'll get some um, stiff that allow us to create shock weapons and armor. Um, since we don't have that now, then we're not going to have added protection to get shock. But we're not going to be down either because we don't have shock weapon or Terra armor either. <clears throat> Unless this counts as Terra. I don't know. Either way, we are good to go. We are ready. To the Rook's Isle we go. Okay, we're off to find ourselves a shock behemoth called a Lesser Drask. That's going to give us some uh, completion on our quest and then also some, presumably, some shock stiff and parts that we need to make other... Sh oh, I can play with PlayStation people. Nice. Um, make other shock gear. So you need to pick up these things. The cool thing is you don't have to stop to do it. So, we oh, okay, it's fine. But we do need to find the guy as well. Now, you can press C if you're on PC and throw up a flare whenever um, you find him, which you're, you'll notice your team does. I don't know why I put a banner there, just because. Uh, here's some mushrooms. And this is how you get the stuff that you need for the alchemy, which we just looked at with Mr. Boren or whatever his name is. Okay, I heard a flare. There it is way over there. That rhymed. <laughs> Pick this up. And now I'm going to show you why I really like the blades. So just hold up right there and I'll show you one second. Now we do have to remember to use our... I think I hear it. We're gonna go ahead and use this now. Hey Drasky Drask. We're gonna do this. Left click and we're out. Now watch this, I can Q, brings me in. We can spin like this, like a freaking crazy combo. And then we can Q again, in we go. You can't get away from me. And then you can also do range attack with it as well. We're going to go ahead and move here, actually. And then look. Bam. Oh. Okay, I messed up my combo. One, two, three. Right click. Spinny spin. Now he gets away. No problem. We're in. It's so cool because the things get away from you so easily that with this thing, you don't have to worry about that with the um, chained... Uh, what are they called? I'm sorry, I'm just so like into this fight. With the chain deals. All right, let's see if we can get in there. Ready? All right, we're like this. Oh, he, he messed my combo up. One, two, three. One. Knocked his tail off though, that's what's up. We're in here. Oh, I might've just fallen off. Oh, I definitely fell off. <laughs> I don't know what's what makes me like charge like that exactly. Like when I jump though, it makes charge forward. It's pretty cool, don't get wrong. Dude, can I get back? Dude, I can't, are you kidding me right now? Oh, this is real bad. Heal this. The heal is a great one. Dude, do I have to go all the way around there? Yeah, so watch. If I jump, sprints forward. I don't know why. Still trying to figure that out, but look. Okay, here we go. Now we're in here, right? Boom, we're in. Now if we're close to him, we Q again. It pushes you back out of the way of damage. Very cool, right? That's why I like this so much. Your right click is your heavy attack, as I mentioned already. The lesser dress is dead. All right. So you see with the right click, it does this like chain deal so you can get some nice range attack in. But the jump in and out with the Q is really nice. And um, I didn't do a super good job of showing it there. So we might just do this again real quick. So we're going to go ahead and leave the hunt and head back into Ramsgate. That will complete the quest as well. So we'll see what we get for that. All right, Mr. Marcus. Ready Talk to ship to... out. Actually, I'm ready to see what you that got for me. There you are. Those blitz tonics will help you press the attack when you're feeling winded. While you were out collecting those ingredients, I also perfected a new concoction, the bulwark tonic. Something that can help you withstand big impacts without getting knocked onto your axe. <laughs> Play on words. Like it. Um, and I'm just, and I'm, excuse me, and I'm just getting, and I'm just getting started, Slayer. Etheric alchemy is a complicated discipline, but I won't be working on airships forever. I think a sideline as an amateur alchemist will keep me busy and maybe even help me start saving for retirement. Wow, that's funny. Really deep conversation for a video game. 
<laughs> All right, so we did the quest. We have completed it. We're going to get some Adventure more tonic. Over. Fantastic. All right, so let's talk to him again. He can make... What is the bulwark? Okay, let's craft one. Oh, I made three. Okay. <laughs> let's right. go into L. Loadout. Let's check this out. No consumable. Bulwark. Just click it. You don't have to drag it. So it reduces damage taken by 45% for the next three hits. You can only bring three on your hunt. Okay. Let's fill this up, Buttercup. Health, it looks like you get those every time. So let's go talk to... Let's go... Actually, let's go talk to her. Miss uh, Catherine has completed her quest as well. I knew you were right for this I'm job. impressed. It's not just figuring out what the challenges are that's important, but how to accomplish them. Any insensible use of tonics and cells will be crucial if you're going to become the slayer I think you can be. We have completed that. We're going to give eight frost orbs, eight shock orbs, shrikes, zeal, and scarns, defiance. Let's go. You're perfect for this job. Okay, so achieve the goals your mentor has set before you to prove you're ready to face the maelstrom. So we need to achieve level four, hunt a scarn, a shrike, craft one of these lanterns with Archon Drew. Craft the Scarn's Defiance and the, or the Zeal, it looks like. And then complete Zay's quest, the Ironclad Admiral. Silver Slayer Core. Oh, I want that you should quest. Grab your gear. You've hit some impressive milestones, Slayer. And just in time, too. The storm out there beyond the frontier, that's the Maelstrom. And it's undergone a, let's call it a growth spurt? I can't explain. That's the Ori's job. But I do know that it steered up the behemoths and sent them crashing into the formerly safe territories near Ramsgate. The monstrous verge, the yonder keys, they're gone. The maelstrom has consumed everything out there in ways we haven't even begun to understand. But I do know this, huge full-grown behemoths we've never faced on the sheltered frontier are showing up right in the city's doorstep. But I'm not going to throw away your life by sending you straight into the maelstrom. First, you need to meet two important people. Archon Drew's forgotten more about our uh, Aether Smithing than most of us ever learn. He'll ensure your lantern is up to snuff, and while he doesn't have a ship anymore, that Ostian Admiral Zay is, stay is staying on to help with the fight. He'll get Ostian Firepower into the hands of Slayers as soon as he can. Alright, so now we have a Shrike. Oh, check that guy out. He's pretty cool looking. No idea what he does. And then we got the Skarn. Looks like a plated fat turtle lizard deal alligator up, oh hey this guy has a quest as well what's up buddy what's up marcus name the destination i see what's in the store get a free pack of dyes from the store press escape to open the store okay folks are talking about you slayer and what i hear is generally pretty good but there is some talk not from me of course but from people that you could be a bit more stylish have you been to the store uh <laughs> To reach the store, press pause and select store. Go to style to find your free recruits die. Ooh, let's make a deal. Your free recruits die bundles available in the supply section of the dollar store. To access the store, press escape and then, I always say escape, okay? We understand each other that it's escape, right? And then select the store button. Head there now to pick up a new color selection stock. Rotates often, so check back frequently. I think you're on the right course. All right. Uh, store. Oh, here it is. Big fat button in the middle. Uh, dies. The recruit zero okay add two free dice to your collection golden rod and lagoon ah, i like free stuff Ship's good to go i saw what's in the store those dice should have been on the path to style should have you on the path to style and sophistication in no time but remember most everything else in the store including more dice will require platinum get a free pack of dice from the store press escape to open the store got it completed fantastic make your armor distinctly your own by applying dies for a unique look press escape to the open the main menu and select a piece of diable gear in your loadout to give it a try additional dice can be found in the dollar store so be sure to check back frequently your look your way you can transmogrify your current gear to look identical to other gear in our inventory without losing any of that item's effect Press escape to open the main menu and then select the piece of gear in your loadout to give it a try. Gear that's free to transmogrify can be found in the Dallas store, so be sure to check frequently, see Good what's luck, available. Yeah. Okay, so it said to go to your loadout. Okay. Chess piece. Oh, here it is. Die and transmog. 
Do I need to open that or? <laughs> oh, this is. Oh, okay, that's transmog. Okay, so this is dye. This is transmog. Got it. Okay. Uh, what are the colors that I got for for? Uh, I forgot what it was. Oh, goldenrod. Oh, that's kind of cool. Lagoon. Lagoon is nice. All the cool colors are down here from the heroic behemoths. Who knew? Should have been obvious. All right, let's do Lagoon, boy. Yeah, why? Because I don't know. It's different. Let's just try it, man. Okay, just go with it. Helmet's hidden. What am I even doing? <laughs> Primary Lagoon. Apply. Back. Feet. Transmog. Primary Lagoon. Apply. Back. Look at this. We're on a freaking roll, man. Can, I, can you do weapons? Let's see. Transmog only. Okay. Oh, that's cool, though. I do like that. I'll go with this one because it kind of matches. kind of matches. All right, cool. So we need to hunt, boys. Let's check it out. Let's check out the pursuit. We need to take out the natural. Neutral, that said. <laughs> the Shrike. The winged terror known as the Shrike generates localized vortexes and uses its massive frame to drop on prey from above with crushing force. Despite a commonly held belief among rookie slayers, it does not hoot. Let's go. Here's Arcan Drew, which we need to talk to. I'm all into the rhyming today, I guess. And then uh, there's another one around the corner here. Arcan Drew's going to make the lanterns for us, I believe is what it was. Let's see what this other one is. Do, 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 do. I will speak with you. And then Janik Zay. And I don't remember what he was going to do for us. Eh, let's just go and do it now. Sometimes it gets a little buggy. You have to like, move away from him in the back end. See how it's not going in? Oh, there please. we go. You don't have to salute. The Ironclad Admiral. The the essence, Slayer. Speak to Ironclad Zay about the Ostian weapons. You can help the Slayer of Ramsgate defend the city. So the Ostian Repeater, the Standard Barrel, the Captain's Grip, the Salvo Chamber, Barrage Grenade, Schematic for the Barrel, Salvo, and a Captain's Grip. This appears to be the gun. This is the gun weapon. Cool. Ah, there you are, Slayer. As you can see, although my ship has been broken down from scrap, for scrap, and my crew sent back to Osea, I have decided to stay on in Ramscape to help the fight against the Behemoths. I, and I want to share with you and your fellow Slayers one of Osea's most fiercely protected technologies. It is time you learn to use Ostean repeaters and grenades. Nice. The repeaters allow you to strike your foes from a great distance, while the grenades provide more explosive support. I have also designed special repeater components called prisms that focus the power of your weapon in specific ways. Bring me the necessary components to craft them, and you'll see what I mean. Nice. So, grenade. We need uh, Omnistone, which we don't have any. Throw a grenade. Deal some damage. Splitting into three grenades and deals more damage. That's what I'm talking about. There is oh, work wait. to be done. The repeater. Wait. Wait. Currently equipped. I thought he said I need to bring that. I don't know. Here is the plan. Okay. Oh, here's the stuff we need. Okay, so this is the guns of Ostigard. Show the Admiral Zay you have mastered using empowered shots with your Ostian repeater. Deal 10,000 damage with your Ostian repeater using empowered shots and abilities. 100 rams, 5 neutral orbs, schematic for the marksman chamber, and the saboteur's grip. Let's go ahead and take that. Ostian technologies, as you can see, has progressed significantly in recent years. Those repeaters, for example, can be empowered by the ambient aetheric energy that emanates from both from every behemoth. Press your attack and reload your repeater at close range. This will turn the beast's own power against them. Show me that you understand this principle by employing them in combat. So you get close to them and reload it. Okay. I've never used the gun, so I have no idea how that's supposed to work. We will I'm learn. Great. Show Admiral Zay you can do a significant damage with the barrage grenades. Deal 2,000 damage with the grenades. Let's do it. While grenades may seem to be a simple weapon, Ostean grenades can do more than simply explode. If you prove you can handle the basic barrage grenade, which does in fact simply explode, with devastating effect, I may see fit to share more complex designs. Stand there. Nice. All right, so let's go into our loadout once more. Make sure that we do have all of this. Anything else? Yes. Wait. I can't put that in? 
You can only bring five. That's consumable. Oh, I... Okay. What goes in that spot, then? Okay. How do you get it out of that slot? I don't know. Uh... <laughs> Oh, it just <laughs> unlocks level seven. Okay, 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 okay. So you get three off the bat. Uh, level seven is the next third slot. That's why I can't do it. So let's do um, here. So we'll take less damage as an option, and then we'll do the grenade damage. So you throw the grenade, deal some damage before splitting into three, each dealing additional damage. Damage scales with weapon power. You can only bring five on a hunt. Got it. Now then, the quest log, which is going to be you, is the guns of a CIA. So, how, how do I get the repeater, though? Did he give me one? Let's go back into L, select our weapon type, and then we'll go to repeater. Oh, he did. Okay. Nice. All right. Well, we have the repeater now. <laughs> pair of modular Aether-powered firearms designed specifically and especially for Slayers. I like it. So within that, you have, you can do the barrel. Probably. Okay, so you can up, update all of those. Interesting. Let's go ahead and put this in here. So infused and ember blades. Okay. Adds a flat amount part damage. Let's do that one. So we'll do barbs so we get some wound damage. We're going to go ahead and add the agility cell since that's the only one available, but it does it reduce the cost of dodging. Okay. There's no additional transmog. So I'm only at an 84 power, which could pose a problem, I guess. I wonder if I screwed up the hunt by doing two. I hadn't tried that before. We'll give it another second. I've never had to wait this long for a hunt, though, so we shall see. Okay. So you'll notice that uh, my mouth is not at all moving to my voice. Now, the reason for that is because the game foobard, okay? It just went crazy. I had to reload it. I tried to get into the hunts four different times. I had to reload it over and over. And then we finally got in. So I'm like, okay, record. I don't know what happened. But my microphone was muted. Feels bad. Feels bad, so I'm just gonna record over it, and we can finalize this uh, this final fight of the video. See, look look at this little thing on the right side of beside my uh, uh, my webcam frame. There's like a little glitch right there. Like everything went bad. <laughs> Anyways, but I did want to get uh, this fight on record because it was the first time using the guns, and so I wanted to go ahead and just record over it as we pick up some some bushies here and talk about that. Um, we picked up the grenades, and we picked up the gun, the repeater, and we have to deal damage with them in combat to complete the quest for, um, Akram? What was his name? Look at this. Oh my gosh. That is, like, intimidating. Look at that thing's just, like, over there on the hunt, man, like, prowling, looking for me. He sees me with his eyes. I'm like, hide. No. <laughs> So I decided what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the, the screen red when we're in combat. Or maybe just correspond it with the uh, type of creature we're doing. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Three damage! Three whole damage! I mean, I am at a very safe distance, but three damage is just not going to get it done. And hello. How you doing, winged creature? So you might remember that... Oh, there we go. 360 damage that time. Uh oh <laughs> Perfectly calculated. Um... So yeah, in order to get more damage out of the repeater, you have to reload the repeater next to the creature. Okay. Now you might keep saying to yourself, why is Gotcha not using his lantern? Well, the reason for that is because it wasn't working. It's completely broken. And so we'll get into that uh, because I do have much to explain about the game and uh, discuss as we go into more stuff. But I finally did fix it, and you'll see that in some upcoming videos. If you want... To check it out all right so you, we got close there and we just take damage right so that's the tough part so you have to get close you have to get in danger to be super effective with the gun but of course that's also the advantage of the gun is to be able to stay at a safe distance and this muzzle boozer just keeps coming right into me look like 360 is my max on the damage i haven't upgraded it at all i'm using the base barrel stock and all that 
Ooh, 427. Was that my damage? I don't even know. Now, there are some intricacies to the gun uh, that I didn't quite grasp at this point that we will get into as well. Probably when we do some uh, really targeted videos on weapon types. Ooh, nice. Nice damage there. But anyway, so I, I, I have the shield going on right now. I'm tossing out my... my uh, mine. I don't know if you saw that, but when they run over that, it's going to do quite a bit of damage to them. That's your Q. It's basically your... I think it's a, it's a part of your gun. It's a hilt, if you will. Or not the hilt, but the um, handle. <laughs> I don't know what it's called, man. Oh, uh, we'll have to look at it. But anyway, the, the the grip. The grip. I think you, like, chunk that on the ground and, like, explodes when it runs over it. So you can upgrade all that stuff, and it's pretty cool because it's all within the, you know, the gun. So you just buy different parts of it to make it into the element of your choice, etc. Oh, he's coming at me! No worries, no worries. Pro Dodger here. Dodger. Wait. Look at that timely dodge. Throw down the little... Oh, wait, I didn't use the mine, actually. I used the one that buffs you. It gives you attack speed, I think. I don't know. We'll have to look back through it. Boom! So we've... <laughs> All right, cool. We did a lot of damage right there. So you get up close, you fire them off. In the top left, you can see your ammo situation. Once you run out, make sure you get in there. It does auto reload if you run completely out. So it might be worth. I don't, and then again, this is not a tip. Just something I'm considering as I'm learning this game. Um, it might be worth going in at one ammo to reload. That way, you make sure you're at the closest proximity. Reload, boom, and then keep firing more out. And so it really reloads pretty quickly, actually. Uh, a little bit faster than you might expect. I think the animation's not exactly with it either, but it is pretty quick. And so I reloaded there really far away, which means I'm doing less damage until we reload again close to him. So we're just trying to stay safe here for the moment. I have used one of my healings already. Let's see if we can't get in here. Pick up our little buffage. I'm pretty sure it's um, it busts your team too, and I think it's attack speed. What well, that one is? I don't know. I started using the proximity mine. Oh! He does that second flight so quick sometimes. Three damage to the body, feels bad. Now you notice that some of the numbers do come up in yellow. It seems to be that that's a vulnerable spot and you do more damage to that area. So you want to target those areas once you find them. And he flies away. Don't know why I used my right click there. So the heavy is not always up with a gun. It does have to recharge. You can see up there in the top left next to your ammo. What is he oh, he's talking to me still. Then the top left next to the ammo, it recharges pretty quickly. It's the blue bar, and then you can do your um, kind of your shotgun blast, if you will, into them, and it does three or four hits. Of, uh, four hits, yeah, no, three hits. I think you could probably upgrade that later on, but anyway, we need to get we need to get some materials because we got to stuff some stuff to build. Now these do want to push you in the direction. Uh, that you're going although they have a directional purpose like that one was straight up some of them are angled and you can tell obviously but if you hit them and go in the opposite way of the current it will push you that way a little bit so keep that in mind so you don't fall off the side like i did now i do like their grenades they're a little hard to hit you got to make sure that they're on the ground number one and not moving because there is a bit of a delay before they actually land i got really close there when i reloaded should be hitting pretty hard here 104 per tap now which is pretty good and the, the behemoth has behemoth completely left. <laughs> there we go. What's up, brother? You want to go? Turning down trees and junk, man. Come on. Ooh. Did he get knocked out? No. It's super good if you have someone in your team that's good at staggering. You can really load in a lot of damage during those times. Oh, I tried to get in and get a good hit. Triple tap. Right click. Didn't work. We're going to go ahead and back out of there. Ouchie. I wish I could use my... This is a situation where I could use my... Um, lantern but it didn't work at this point or at least i was doing something wrong i think i just rebounded to another key and it works fine so you know in case you're just doing the same thing Ugh. i also cannot open the store for what that's worth i know we're in the middle of a fight here but man look at these amazing shots that i have i don't think i hit one of those i did dodge that though come on but oh i missed again <laughs> gotta remember this is the first time i use this freaking thing so Definitely not uh, your your pro for first person shooter. Um, the gun actually is fun though when you upgrade it and get used to the aiming of it. It's too far away. See, there is a range on it definitely, and the damage does drop off at range as well. So keep that in mind. So you do need to be relatively close, although you can get a nice safe distance compared to the melee weapons, which gives you much more time to react and dodge stuff as well. 
Get in there close, reload, get out. Light him up, move. Did not move, it was bad. The owl dude is gonna, he's having a hoot with us. <laughs> Dude, I did there. Three damage. That's exceptionally bad. <laughs> ah! Oh I, oh, I thought I dodged it. Rip. All right, let's see if we can't get some more damage on him. We only have two more health potions and no more grenades. We have successfully used all of our grenades. And by successful, I mean the success was using them, not necessarily the damage done with them. <laughs> All right, the boy's on fire now. I think it's the Scrave, is that what this one is? Not 100% sure. Every time you kill a monster, you get to make new stuff too, so that's kind of cool, but it also is uh, you know, it's a grind. The Shrike has been slain, and we have leveled up and completed the quest for the repeater damage. Feels good. Don't pay attention to my rank. I'm just learning. <laughs> All right, well, that's going to be the end of this episode. I hope you did enjoy it and check. come back to check out episode number three where we'll be diving into more Dauntless super cool fun stuff. We'll see you there. Peace out.